Number 82. For each of the following reaction diagrams, estimate the activation energy, which is Ea, of the reaction. Okay, so we have a reaction diagram or an energy diagram here. Um, this diagram is meant to be looked at from left to right. So it's like kind of like a roller coaster where you're going wee wee and then down. This is your starting material, this horizontal line. This represents the energy for your reactants. On the flip side, as we go all the way down to the end, this horizontal line tells us the energy needed for the products. So seems like we have 35 kilojoules that the reactants have, and you have 20 kilojoules for the products. Okay, but we need to find out what the activation energy is. Now there's a simple formula for this. Uh, it, usually activation energy isn't really given a formula because it's so simple, but just to have it on paper or not really on paper, right? On screen, <laughs> the formula is this. So activation energy always equals your peak energy minus the starting material or where you're started from. Generally, it's going to be from your reactants. Now, just know that the peak energy is always called the transition state, but I thought it was easier to say peak, uh, but just know that a peak is a transition state. Now, the activation energy is the required amount of energy that you need to get over or to reach in order to make your products. But if you don't reach that required amount of energy, oopsie, you're not going to make your products. Now, in this case, my activation energy equals, I see here that I have two independent peaks. I have a peak here and I have a peak here, right? Now, the total number of peaks equals the total number of steps. So in this case, it's a two-step reaction because I see that I have two peaks. So um, in this case, reactants to the first drop, this is classified as the first step. And then your second peak, where you come up again to drop down again, that's your second step. Now in general, when they ask for a reaction, uh, uh, activation energy, it's usually always for the first, um, for the first, uh, step. So that's what we're going to be doing. So the first peak would, would be with the first step. So I see that the peak is here. How many kilojoules does that have? Well, I go back to the Y axis. That is 45. So we have 45 kilojoules and then I'm going to minus it from the energy of the reactants. So I put that back, that's 35. And now I just do the math, 45 minus 35, I have an activation energy of 10 kilojoules. And that's your answer. Um, to just draw that on the graph, once I finish doing this, to show where that is, it's just from where you started, so that's why we always start with the reactants, to the tippy, tippy, tippy point. So this over here is your activation energy, and it's 10 kilojoules. Just keep in mind that an activation energy will always be positive. So if you accidentally take 35 minus 45, you'll get a negative 10, but just always know that the activation energy is the absolute value, so it's always positive. Now you can find out the activation energy for the second step in which you will pick up where you left off. So you will start at this line, which is 40 kilojoules, and you go all the way up to 45. So the activation energy for the second step is five kilojoules. But in this case, they only wanted one of them. So I'm assuming that they wanted it for the first step, but you could do it for the second step as well. Um, but that's, that's basically it. What'd you think? Hopefully this helped. Thank you so much for viewing the video. Subscribe to the channel. And if you want to become a member, you can. We have four tiers. Check it out. There's perks for each tier. Um, I think they're pretty good perks, but you be the judge of that. No pressure, not mandatory. Any bit of support helps. So whether you're, you know, telling your friends, telling your classmates, commenting, um, you know, subscribing, becoming a member, any help works for us. And the channel wouldn't be here because, you, you know, unless you guys are here. So thank you so much thus far. And I look forward to the next school year. I'll talk to you. Okay. All right. Bye-bye.